We're going to go to the social net. A little bit different today, as the tennis world lost an absolute icon, an absolute legend. 90 years old, Tony Trebert has passed away. 90 years, six, or excuse me, five-time Grand Slam champion, but a giant in the sport. A number of roles that he possessed, a Cincinnati Bearcat legend as well. Just meant such a, a great deal to this sport. And for a little bit more, we're going to go to our very own John Wertheim. Marion Anthony Trabert, a native of Cincinnati, as landlocked as it gets. Tony Trabert did not come from means. His father took out loans to cover his junior tennis travel. And Tony Trabert was such an exceptional athlete that he started on the basketball team for the University of Cincinnati. But he played tennis there as well, winning the NCAA title, and eventually gravitated to the sport full time. Did he ever? By his mid-twenties, Trebert was the best player in the world. In 1955, the year he turned 25, he turned in one of the towering seasons in tennis history, winning the French Open, U.S. Open, and Wimbledon. His record that year, 106 and seven, which included 30 titles overall, 18 in singles and 12 in doubles with his partner, Vic Satius. An attacking player who was as fast as he was strong, Trebert could play at the net and the baseline. He won on all surfaces. In fact, when he won the French Open, 34 years would elapse before another American male, Michael Chang, would replicate the feat. Trebert's amateur career was interrupted by service in the Navy. And like most players of his era, he switched over to Barnstorm professionally, often pitted as the rival to Pancho Gonzalez. After tennis, Trebert would become a Davis Cup captain, a promoter, oh, and a broadcaster, bringing He's wisdom and charm and uh, Midwest ease to the to castaway at age 90, was inducted into the Tennis Hall of Fame in 1970. He'd come a long way from his Ohio roots and took the sport with him. A wonderful life lived for a wonderful tennis player and an even more wonderful man, Tony Trebert gone at 90. We'll be right back.